بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم This topic I have discussed in several of my videos but I thought I'll make a separate video only how to write the equation of a straight line. Although most of students uh, have learned this uh, in their intermediate classes but when they come to the university they have already forgotten. So it's kind of a repeat of what we have learned. First of all we'll try to find or write the equation of this line. We know the line equation is written as y is equal to mx plus c where m is called the slope and c is y intercept. Now first of all the slope formula we also know that it is written y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and let's so mark x1, x2 etc on this the same. So the starting point is marked as S1, x1, y1 and the end point is marked as x2, y2. So we'll put in the values here. Now y2 is 5 and y1 is 0. Similarly, x2 is 1 and x1 is 0. So putting the values, we get the slope to be equal to 5. So now our equation will be y is equal to, in place of m, we write 5. 5x plus c. Now we need to find the c. c is called line intercept. Now what is line intercept? The concept is that wherever this line touches the y-axis, remember this is y-axis and this is x-axis. So the point where this line touches the y-axis, that point will be or that value of y will be called the y intercept. Now in this case we can see that the line is touching the y axis at point 0 when y is 0. Therefore directly we can say that the y intercept is 0 or c is 0. But it is better that we follow the formula so we don't make any mistake. And the formula will be just like this. We put the value of x and y in equation 1. So we can put the value of either x1, y1 or x2, y2 or any point in this line. So we can put either x1, y1 or x2, y2 uh, or any value in the range but preferably we put the value where y is 0. So y is 0 in this case when x is 0. So putting y 0 then x is also 0, we find c to be 0. And so our final equation will be y is equal to 5x plus 0 or we can say it y is equal to 5x. Now when we solve questions in the book, uh, we could have uh, something like this relation that is the charge versus time or voltage versus time or current versus time. So after uh, reaching this point, you just modify y in this case is q and x in this case is t. So we just modify and this will be our equation for this particular graph. Another one, now uh, this you can see is a straight line and actually it does not have any slope. But still we'll follow the same technique to write this equation. So y is equal to mx plus c, slope y2 minus y1, y2 is 5 and y1 is 5, so 5 minus 5 and x2, x1 is 3 minus 1, so it will be 0. So the slope is 0. So our equation putting m is equal to 0 will be y is equal to c and or we can say c is equal to y. So directly if you extend this line, this will be touching the y-axis at 5. So we can say that c is equal to 5. But here also we will follow the complete procedure. So put any value of x1, y1 that is 1 of 5 uh, or we could have put an x2, y2. So putting this value 1 and 5, y is 5 plus 0 plus c, so c becomes 5. So our equation now will be 
y is equal to instead of a c now it will become 5 so this is our line equation for this case and here also if it is in terms of a q and t we just modify y to write q so q is equal to 5 will be the line equation for this case and another one if the line is like this same technique first of all we find the slope y now remember this is the starting point and this is end point we are going from, from this left to right so starting point is x1 y1 end point is x2 y2 and y x y2 is minus 10 so y2 will write minus 10 and y1 is simple 10 so putting in the value minus 10 minus 10 and x2 is 6 and x1 is 2 6 minus 2 so the slope will be negative 5 so this is negative 5 which is going down so our equation now will be y is equal to for m we write minus 5 so minus 5 x plus c now to find c remember now this case the intercept will be somewhere here so we have to uh, find using the formula and either we could have used x1 y1 or x2 y2 but the better is that the point where y2 becomes 0 we use that point so this is that x is equal to 4 so to find c we put uh, uh, x is equal to 4 so y is 0 minus 5 into 4 plus c so c is equal to 20 so the line intercept is plus 20 here so our equation now will become uh, this this uh, final equation and here also we will follow the same technique that if the parameters are given or the axis is different it is vt and t so we just change y into vt and for x we write t so this will be the equation so i hope uh, you will be able to now follow all questions in chapter number one and chapter number five of the circuit analysis book. Thank you.